Hello, hello my voidlings and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. Did you see what I did there? I called you all the voidlings. If you remember on a previous episode we were talking about a name for all of the subscribers and voidlings was one that was commonly suggested and I really like that one but I have kind of gone off the idea of giving everyone a collective name so I don't know, I thought I'd throw it out there and see what you all think of it. The voidlings, I think it sounds pretty cool and apparently it's also a League of Legends reference as well. But I don't know what exactly to because I don't play that game. But anyway, this episode I've got things to show you and a project in mind as well. As always, I've been busy in between episodes. But I just wanted to start off by talking about the LP itself. I've been experimenting with how I LP lately. I've been trying different methods of recording and doing things differently. And the results have actually been really positive. I've been using the analytics tool that you have on your videos. That gives you a hint as to where people sort of lose interest and stop watching the video and things like that. And also in the comments as well, it seems like people are more engaged and involved, which is great. And I thought I'd just throw it out there and let you know, let you guys know that I am trying out different things and trying to make the series more enjoyable. And it seems like the last few episodes have actually been a, a real success so anyway we should head into the nether I have one more thing that I want to talk to you about and then I'll show you what I've been up to and today is a Monday and normally I upload on Tuesdays there's not going to be a Tuesday episode um, but I thought I would do things differently this week because I wanted to put out two episodes and I didn't really want to put out a hermit craft on the same day that I do a snapshot video because that takes up a lot of time and effort to get out and so I might actually change up the schedule from now on and that's what I wanted to talk about um, a long time ago I decided that I would do a schedule, we'd upload videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays and occasionally on a Thursday and I've stuck to that for a very long time and I've never actually talked about it with all of you so I really like working by the schedule, it works for me and I've never missed an episode so far um, but I've never really sort of asked all of you if that works for you, if you like that, you know, having the predictability that an episode will be there at the same time each week. Because I might be changing that now. I might do Wednesdays and Saturdays and then like bonus episodes on a Monday. Uh, but I thought I'd ask all of you first. So anyway, just let me know in the comments. And I've been working in the nether. And I've been scouting out this area over here. We're going to drink these potions quickly just to be safe. And yes, <laughs> the nether looks really cool with a night vision potion. And this is just going to help us see all of the land that we need to remove. So in one of the previous episodes I was talking about how it looks like there's a sort of perimeter area out here available because of this big lava lake. And it isn't actually as ideal as I first thought. Um, so if we stand here and have a look around, I'm going to hold shift because this guy might try and knock me off. Oh, down you go buddy. Down you go. Oh, <laughs> Okay, that could cause me a problem. I'll explain why in a bit. <laughs> but anyway, um, if we look at the left or the right hand side of the screen, you can actually see more than when you look straight on. It's kind of like a visual effect. So you can see that there is a lot of land, and I mean a lot, that actually needs to be removed. Um, but the surface area of these lands aren't so big, so they could possibly be half slabbed off. Hmm. Anyway, let's get to the top of this ladder. It takes forever to get up here. And yeah, you can see that all of this land over here could quite easily be half slabbed. Um, all of that, there's some up there, over on the side here as well. Uh, I don't think it'd be worth blowing this stuff up with TNT. Um, but there is a lot of open space and there's a lava lake down below. And I do think this would be a good place to put a perimeter. Um, there is this big area in front of us as well. And when I say perimeter, I do mean just a basic setup. You know, like I go and try and half slab in all these areas around. And then we'd have a farm over here in the middle. Um, if you didn't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I have plans to put a gold farm out here. But anyway, um, after doing some like initial work on the side over there, I don't know if you noticed it, I realised that this area right in front of us needs to be half slabbed, otherwise mobs are going to spawn all over it. And this is kind of like <laughs> a big deal for me because this is my base right here. This is what. Oh my god, I've worked on for ages and I really like the grass. I guess we could put half slabs on the pyramid because we now have the nether brick half slabs. And that pigman is so going to walk in front of me, I can feel it. <laughs> this is going to turn nasty, come on. There, there we go. Okay, so now I can show you what I've been up to as well. I thought I'd make a start and try and remove some of this netherrack. And what I've discovered are a couple of things. First of all, lava is really annoying. Look at that. 
I've just made a mess out of all of this and if I were to fix this I think what I'd have to go and do is put tons of netherrack down just under the layer that the lava's at and then fill it all in with buckets which is a huge amount of work and also by doing this the side there needs replacing with nether brick as well and we've got another ghast and it's going to blow up all of my grass oh. but anyway when I first did this I was using TNT and I aggroed the pigmen because I killed one of them with TNT and if you remember in the latest snapshot dinner bonus changed it so that there's some sort of detection um, if you kill someone by pushing them off of a cliff it knows that you did it and basically what he's done is he's made this tracking system for who activates TNT and then if it kills someone it will say who set the TNT off and because of that pigmen are now going to be aggroed and the one weakness with that he said was that he couldn't track it through redstone so if you're going to use any sort of trap or TNT if you use redstone the pigmen are not going to get aggressive at you so that's a, a top tip right there because that got me in a real pickle I got chased back into here all of my items went on the ground and of course they picked them up and the pigman became super strong uh, but lucky for me what I did was I sort of crouched down here and lured the pigman over and he got stuck on top of the ladder so I could just shoot him with my bow so I was just doing a bit of editing and I noticed the glass so I've updated that and I've also updated to the latest snapshot as well so we shouldn't have any diamond helmets being shot at us um, but yeah one of the things that I edited out was me talking about look at that it spawned right over there about how I might not want to go ahead with this project after all. Oh, always when I'm recording. <laughs> yes, direct it. So yeah, I was talking about how maybe I don't want to go ahead with this project because I don't want to change how the nether pyramid looks. But then I realised that what we could do is lower the grass down by one block, cover it in glass, and then we can half stab the rest of the nether pyramid and zombie pigmen won't be able to spawn on here. Which would be, you know, It'd be a little bit of a sacrifice because we were putting glass down and the look would change, but it would be fairly similar. And it got me thinking about how there's always zombie pigmen on this nether pyramid. And if you look around, there is a lot of lava and we do get a lot of pigmen spawning around here. And I think that's a sign that this is a good area to build a farm because there's always pigmen on here. And then if this was an area they couldn't spawn on, it makes it even more likely they're going to spawn in our farm. So I think that's going to be a really good project to do. And I actually like these big large scale projects because sometimes you're not really in the mood to record you've not got the inspiration or ideas or things to show and you can just go on and continue with a project putting down tons of half slabs or whatever it is you're doing and somehow that always gets me in the mood to actually like think of ideas and come up with stuff and speaking of that I've been half slabbing a lot over at the witch farm and that has given me an idea for something we're going to build this episode um, so I'm going to head over there now and uh, show you what this is all about so as always I've been busy half slabbing I've been doing some of these bits over here and something else that I've now been doing is removing land on the other side of the perimeter so if there's not too much land I remove it because I still think mobs might be able to spawn in it if only briefly and I've just been replacing it with water um, so you can see I've removed some over there where I was pointing some over here and uh, last time I showed you this we had some more of that sand desert around there all of that's been half slabbed and now I've gone into this corner over here and done tons of half slabbing around this area as well and it's over there in the corner where you can see that there's a lot of dirt on the ground and that's because I ran out of half slabs and it gave me an idea we've now got the hoppers in the game and I think what I need to make is some sort of industrial smelter because doing this is actually really tedious you have to organize your inventory put loads of cobblestone then divide up all the coal and then click on each of the furnaces and it just takes up a fair amount of time so I've been thinking about how I can use these hoppers with the furnaces to create a sort of industrial smelter something where I just chuck in all the items that I want to be smelted and then it will do it all for me and put them in a chest so I've kind of gone through the thought process there wasn't too much to it so I thought what I would do is just build it see if it works and if it does I can explain it to you so here it is, this is my industrial smelter idea and I've discovered already that there's quite a few uh, design flaws and limitations here but you know it's a very basic design so I'm sure I'll be able to improve this as time goes along. Uh, the main problem is with the hoppers. Now I thought there were like dud items that you could put in here for example. Uh, you, can't smelt, you can't smelt dirt but it's going to pass it into the furnace anyway so my plan there was to block up these hoppers and I think the way that you do that you control the amount of items that go through them is using comparators so there's some improving to 
do here already uh, but the reason that I would want to do that is because if I were to smelt six stacks of cobblestone we'd want one to go into each for it to get done as fast as possible so we'd want four of our hopper slots to be blocked off because um, otherwise when we chuck cobblestone into the water stream which is up the top there this one is going to suck in five and then the next one is going to suck in the other stack so yeah there's a lot of improving to do but at the moment I'm doing a lot of smelting so it's not going to make any difference I'm going to be chucking in 30 stacks of cobblestone so five are going to go into the first hopper five into the second all the way down to the end here and so they're all going to get filled up and the furnaces are going to be ready to start smelting straight away and so the same thing applies with the coal again we're blocking them up as well although what I plan on doing is just dumping so much coal in here I've got chests full of it over there that all of these are going to be full now let's say we chuck in too much cobblestone there's this gap at the end so when it gets to the last hopper and it can't suck in any more items it's just going to drop off into this water stream here and that's the same thing that we've done behind it with the coal and you can see that the water comes around the corner there and that's why we can't actually put this one block back which would be logical so you didn't have this gap like this although I've since realized that what I could do is put upside down stairs here and a half slab there and then I could easily chuck them into that water stream without mixing them with this one but if I'm careful that'll do for now um, so basically this bit here is for where you put in too many items and it's going to flow down into this hopper here and that's going to put it in the chest alongside all right yeah when I was building this I broke some signs I guess the hopper sucked them into the chest um, and yeah you can see what's happening at the bottom here each hopper here is connected to the one to the side of it so it's going to pass all of its items through to the one at the end which is going to put it into this chest here now if I needed even more storage which I probably don't need at the moment I could obviously put another hopper underneath this and then you have another chest full of storage as well um, but what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fill up all of the coal at the back and then I'm going to chuck I think 30 stacks of cobblestone into this so I have modified this bit over the back here and I've put in a load of coal that worked just fine um, well actually when you throw it in it's a bit dodgy so we need a better design for this bit here uh, but then I went through after I checked that it worked and just put one stack of coal in each hopper so it's nice and evenly spread out at the moment because I didn't want to spend ages getting loads of coal together and we've got more than enough cobblestone here um, I just wanted to test the overflow feature as well so there it all goes we can actually watch it all disappear oh it's doing some weird <laughs> jumpy stuff there and then that's it apparently yep that's full okay and now we can pick ah that's interesting did the hopper spit it out or okay that got full up and it's feeding it down into there okay I think what's happened there is all the items are grouped up on top and there's basically too many of them or maybe the hopper did spit them out um, why don't we go back up here and chuck a load down again and see what happens so one two three four five that should be enough to test yeah okay it looks like the hopper spits them out if there's too many Hmm. anyway this is working now um, I'm gonna go do some half slabbing and hopefully while I'm doing that I can think of some ways to improve this as well Oh, and another thing, you can also see there's smooth stone in here. It's interesting to see what rate it actually comes through at. And that shows you that this is all working. Let's have a look. Oh, we missed it. One just went into there. Is any of these nearly done? This one is, so we'll see it hop in there for a split second, and then off it goes. It shoots all the way down here into this one, and then into the chest, so it all works. So I've been working on the perimeter for a couple of hours over in that corner and I've come back here to find that we're still full of coal and cobble. Looks like we've got, yeah, we've burned through almost four stacks up there and got plenty of coal left as well, which is pretty cool. Let's see how much is in the chest here. Yeah, I go through it quickly though. In fact, I've come back here to drop off all of this stuff. Um, but what we're going to do is actually just pop up onto the top of this and pillar up so you can see what I've been doing because for the rest of this episode I have some clips to show you I'll get to that in a moment though and I just wanted to show you the sort of progress that I've been making now that should do no a little bit higher so I've been half slabbing in that area there 
I've removed all the land that was over that side before, there before and a little bit over there and what I'm going to do is just fill in that bit there as well with some water so the rates should be uh, increased very slightly by that but it should help in the long run and then I'm going to half slab all of that bit there and then this bit here and then probably call it a day um, but we are making a lot of progress on this so I'll, uh, I'll come back with an update in a moment and then I'll show you these clips there you go you can just about see that I put water around the edge over there and slabbed in all of that and yeah I don't really have much else planned for this episode I'm kind of in the mood just to keep working on the witch farm at the moment increasing the rates doing some caving and slabbing and the rates have definitely improved by the way I've also hooked up a hopper down the bottom I'm not sure if I actually showed that last time uh, but we should go down there and take a look at how many items we have so for how long this has been running I couldn't really tell you it has been quite a few days but you can see we are getting lots of drops and I've seen plenty of witches spawning up above as well so as we uh, work on the area those rates are going to increase and this ravine over here I need to light up this side but this one's already done and then that leads off into a huge mine shaft and one of the things I need to do is actually get a map and map out the area so that I can see the perimeter as I'm working on it when I'm caving and then I know how far to go and the industrial smelter has stopped I thought it was still running and I'll tell you what this thing's great it outputs just the right amount of smooth stone I think every time I take a trip back here there's plenty left for me to make some more slabs um, but there's a lot of flexibility sorry there's not a lot of flexibility with this and I think there's tons of room for improvement but it's the kind of thing I'm going to play around in creative mode with so maybe next episode I'll have something to show you maybe a better design or perhaps I'll make a video if I make anything good um, but for the rest of this episode I've just got a clip to share with you of me I was hanging out with Sean Static and Jassassin and we played a little prank on a host. I was on the server Creeper. the other day and I got killed like 10 times by those damn zombies man. Oh, like I the tiniest him. little bit of lag they hit you like every single time. Yeah. Oh whoa 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 what is whoa. this? Whoa. Well that's why we didn't find it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a missile site. Wow. That is frightening. Okay, so <laughs> there he is. Look at look the man himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How do we want to do this then? Use cheaty We're surrounding OP powers. Him. We're surrounding him in obsidian. Yeah, I think um, you should probably start by putting like one block underneath uh, the block that he's standing on, and mine out that block from underneath him. Dude, you could right. you could like remove the blocks under his bed, put them in obsidian. You could. You could build him a little obsidian coffin with a bed in. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, you might be able to nudge... Oh, and you can't nudge players anymore, can you? No. 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 So... The force fields. Oh, I don't have any blocks other than obsidian on me. I've got um, dirt you can have. <laughs> yeah, generous. Me, um, I'm going to get below him, so we need to do the four blocks below him. So let me... Oh, that's not going to work. Get out of here, Creeper. That's, uh, I just gave on host the dirt. That wasn't oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I've, st I've still got those three blocks of wood, though. <laughs> I'm oh, just man. rummaging okay. through his chests at the moment. Oh, he's got lots of diamond stuff. Oh. Yeah, that's one thing about on host. He's always got a lot of the good stuff. He yeah. doesn't even bother with the other. He's <laughs> like, eh, I'll just leave it. <laughs> I'm, I I become too attached. I'm like, no, I can't leave the dirt behind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of the same as well, yeah. But like with coal, I cannot leave coal in the wall. Dude, I have all to right, still so... touch all of that. <laughs> yeah. I got I got so That's many double chests full of it. Do you know, this is like a mini woods. Biffers bowl right here. Yeah, except like straight down. To the bedrock, probably. Let's see. Should I go down to there? I think that'll work. There we go, and I should be able to walk. I should have brought there. some materials Ooh. to help here. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I'm stealing his wood. <laughs> well, I mean, I think this this little uh, prank him with his own materials. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, I don't know. I would imagine he has a diamond pick on him then, but well, most most likely, but it, it'll still take him a while. Just put a couple of layers on if you can. I'm just thinking. Um, I mean, I got 32. His, Mine as well. And <laughs> his chests are right here where his bed is. So if you want to surround him completely, 
you need to remove his bed, so you might want to leave him a little sign saying set you spawn again or whatever. Well, what what we could do um, is we could we could drop him down. Oh my slowly. goodness! If we put, is there blocks underneath here? <laughs> I oh, thought I drop him down, down even thing. lower. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Put the obsidian lower, and then you don't have to worry about it, do you? Yeah. Okay. Oh so. dang it! Does that mean I gotta mine it again? <laughs> Here's it's all right. I'll I'll help. All right. I got efficiency. There we go. Five. I got this is efficiency four. So yeah. no time. So let, I guess we can drop this this yeah, wood floor, down, or can we drop him onto it? Would that put work? the obsidian under that? I think would give you enough room. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could probably drop him onto it. Oh, put the obsidian. That's not Hang on, let's idea. see. We want it here then. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Sorry, I'll Sorry, grab that I one. was going to put it lower. <laughs> uh, I think this is good because then we can we can still do all four sides like this. Let's uh, drop him down. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> and... I so he didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, he seems so vulnerable right now. He's just like... <laughs> Sorry, he doesn't wake up. <laughs> he wakes up while we're doing it and kills us all. <laughs> I don't know, he'd have a tough time with me, but you, you two maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. No, wow. that... I'm too far out for him to bother. <laughs> oh, Just man. come up sitting <laughs> in your whole base. How, right, how much more obsidian go. do we have? Do we have any? I have eight more on me. Eight more. I just don't know where I should put it. You know, like yeah. I don't know if you guys have any more. I'm just thinking what what we could possibly do um, if we can find some lava somewhere. We can. Uh, Make so more. he's not gonna he's not gonna mine out the top block first. He's gonna mine out sideways. And if so, so if we put a uh, lava on top. No, I don't think oh, that's don't, a good don't idea. Do, um, if he don't does, do lava in pranks. Uh, okay. Yeah, it just it, there's just too many ways it could go wrong. <laughs> you know, like if he does go up first. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I mean, we could dump water on him if you'd like, but yeah, water would be a good one. <laughs> I got water on me. Yeah, we can make too. an infinite. We, we should make an infinite spring oh, on sorry, top of. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> down I go. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to. Uh, Put one more block there. Okay, let's make an infinite spring real quick. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, and then let me refill my bucket, and then we can we can dump it down the sides. Like we can break, leave the corner pieces like these pieces here, but break those ones. And oh, careful! And that, and that, and that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just griefing now. <laughs> just just put my name on a sign. That'll do. Just, <laughs> just, just so he knows I was also there. <laughs> <laughs> I was also here. Dashi, <laughs> <Suma>. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do. Do that. Right, I got it. I got it. 